Hey, how's it going? This is episode three. Yeah, we've made it to three. <laughs> I am not even sure how I've made it this far. Anyway, so today's episode, I'm not really 100% sure. I'm just kind of winging it. So you just have to sit back, watch, or click away, either or. I'm still going to keep going. But I can tell you this, we do have the upset Ukrainian. He's doing the weather again. Anything beyond that, I'm, yeah, I'm not sure. So, roll it. Look, I know the supernatural is something that isn't supposed to happen, but it does happen. Say kids, what time is it? Unfortunately, what you are about to watch is real and completely insane. He's not trying to offend anyone, and nor is he PC. So stop now. For you have been warned. This is the Dark One's Closet with your host, Death. It's Brittany, bitch. Hey, how's it going? So, sorry, been busy. Didn't get a whole lot planned for episode three. Been working a lot, doing a bunch of stuff. You know, I had to sit back and go to a meeting and learn about stuff I didn't want to learn, didn't care to learn, but it is what it is. Did, did you did you know it is, it's incredible that only in America they pretty much pollute their food. Seriously, like why? I mean, you enhance your meat, you enhance like everything you eat and stuff, so all you're doing is slowly killing people. Why? Because we want bigger portions of food? We waste more food than anything. Ugh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm a little tired too. And, and I have cats right now down below attacking me. Ugh. Yeah, it's been fun. So, here's the thing. Turn around. Not too long ago, I saw an article of a guy turned around and he was sitting there, he's suing his parents. Like literally suing his parents. Here, I'll read the article for you. Let's see, where is it? A US man is suing his parents after they destroyed his massive porn collection, which he claims is worth $29,000. $29,000. Who has that much porn? Like seriously. His parents admitted dumping the 12 boxes of films and magazine which include titles such as Filthy Business and Big Bad Granny. Big Bad Granny. Um, what is he into? <laughs> like seriously. Okay. Oh, check this out. The guy is 40 years old. 40 years old. Ugh, he, he's like seriously the 40 year old virgin. Wow. And the court papers, he said that when he moved out 10 months later, they delivered it, his things to his new home in Indiana, but that was por his pornography collection was not there. Well, yeah, because his parents figured it out. You know, they sit there. His father response believes. His father's responded, believe it or not, one of the reasons why I destroyed your porn was for your own mental and emotional health. Well, yeah, called go get a woman, do something. I mean, seriously, I, I that dude's hand has to be like hella strong by now, like. I don't know, seriously, but who, wow, $29,000 worth of porn, how, I mean Lily, how, how do you have so much porn, I mean that's, that's insane, like, <laughs> I don't even know, uh, okay, so, here, here's a little thing too, just so you all know, I'm trying to sit there and 
make some extra money to help do these shows. So here's what I've been doing. I have shirts for sale. So here, here, Javier, th throw it up. Throw, Javier. Uh, uh, okay, Javier, don't look at. Yes, no, not that one. No, the. See, this is why I should work alone, because getting help and stuff. I mean, seriously, I picked up Javier from Home Depot, offered him a job, run my camera, do some little odd things and stuff, and he's trying to ask me which site. I have two. Well, technically three if you count YouTube, but anyway. Still, it, Javier, it's Teespring. That one. Pull it up. Pull it up. Now see, those are some cool shirts. You buy a shirt, you help the show out, then I can turn around and get more stuff to be able to do. You know, it helps me turn around and finance the show. Because, you know, when you all die, you everybody's greedy. You don't bury your money with you no more. That's where I got all my money before. All right, here, let's do a commercial break. And then we'll come back and We'll go watch the upset Ukraine do his weather and maybe he gets it right this time. Maybe not, I don't know. Anyway, let's go to commercial. Mike, 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 Mike. Hello. Hey. Down here. Hello. Mike. Come on. Hey. It's me, Jess. Hey. Come on. Open the gate. Look. Look. I have Sam with me. Hey, come on. What's the front door? Open the gate. We have the glove. Look. See right here. The glove. Come on. Let us in, Mike. Hey. Come on. Open the gate. Hey. Welcome back. All right. Next up, Upset Ukrainian with the weather report. Take it away. Hello everybody, I am back. The Russian weatherman, or you can call me Ukrainian. So I got guys the month of May focus for you. I know you guys are getting excited for the spring, you know, cutting grass. I mean, finishing you guys Easter eggs. So it's like everything kind of changes. But the weather actually is going to be a little bit differently compared to the north and south. And it's been happening for the last, I would say, seven to eight years. Especially when we have a dog, actually. He's getting an allergy, right? I mean, I know you like sun, dog, but it's like, hey, you're not in the spotlight. So let's start with Washington. <laughs> so I'll go northwest and give him some sun. Okay. Give California, same thing. I mean, this is where it all starts. Even dog, you like, he doesn't feel happy. What can I say? Let's get back to the Wyoming, Colorado, guys. This is where we're going, heading slowly east. In the east side, people are getting tired of snow and tired of allergies too, actually. Especially when you have a, like a late April in the early May, so. They'll be happy to get some sun too. Let's head for the North Dakota and Minnesota, going to the north side. Those people, man, they get tired of flooding. I don't know if you guys recently checked. I mean, they had, they had like a serious flooding. I mean, they lost a couple of houses, cars. Some people apparently died even. So it's like, uh, for them, it will be kind of tough to recover, especially when you have those thunderstorms coming from Canada. I know you guys, you hate Canadians, but some people do love them. So let's get to the south or west, like Texas, New, New Mexico. People getting tired of this desert. <clears throat> Every time it's like dry, sandy, you eat the dust like a cow. But hey, sometimes you have to <laughs> chill and relax and wait for some kind of, you know, April showers thing. But the thing actually, 
you guys have it, well, mostly rainy days in May too, so, hey, chill out with the dust, guys. Let's head Midwest with a farm style. We have corn, potatoes, but nobody actually does the stuff, especially in the spring. I mean, you have to start like a smaller things like a cabbage and yakin and who knows what actually, but they need a lot of water, folks. A lot, I'm saying. <laughs> okay, let's get to the uh, south east side like Mississippi, Alabama and Georgia recently they had too much thunderstorms apparently they had some tornadoes too so it's like people getting tired of those things every time they have to you know rebuild and do too much work so it's like some people will want to probably get out of there too I would say so but they will they, at least they hope some sun actually so I'll give them some sun actually kind of small recovery and let's head to the Michigan side especially when you have a dog actually he has no idea what he's looking into it so Michigan guys you guys get some clouds I mean still kind of on the cold chilly side so you should be guys okay I mean you have guys a lot of fish up there to fry and to actually pick up so let's head to the New York and Maine state you guys get a lot of thunderstorms, especially when you have lots of cold fronts coming in. And I know people hate cold, but you have to guys get used to it. Welcome to Siberia. So let's head to Florida side, especially those guys. Those side guys, I mean, they love thunderstorms. They love lightning. Come on. Well, apparently that's my mistake, so. <laughs> Let's put double the rain for them. They'll be happy to have this one at least. Choke down. <laughs> they can actually drink from the clouds. How about that? <laughs> and the last stage left, we got Virginia to Carolinas. You guys, you guys getting tired of those rainy cold days. So time to guys recover to get some spring. Hopefully you guys can relax and go to the beach and go swim in the Atlantic Ocean with the sharks gonna await for you to eat some lunch from the humans oh, they're just nasty but depends who wants to go there <laughs> and the last thing let's head to the Texas and Mexico border there's too much you know we have immigrants coming in those guys they should relax and settle down I mean they need some thunderstorms to make sure they go back where they go <laughs> below there you go Still doesn't want to stick. Hold on, guys. This thing doesn't want to even stick, but apparently let's try this again. Well, that's want to stick again. So, you know, put some rain. There you go, guys. Rain, rain, rain. Kind of showery. And the last thing, we're going to slice through like a Canadian water right of you guys. I know you, some of you guys don't like Canadians, but they love to have some clouds, chilly side, I mean they know how it feels to be in the winter side. Cool and clouds, I mean thinking about it's kind of freezing too. So guys, this is the oh, month of May focus for you guys. Anybody likes it, I mean you guys can go back to the west side. Welcome to Oregon and Washington, California. Thank you very much. <laughs> and there you have it, the weather with the upset Ukrainian. Hopefully he's right. If not, leave a comment. If he's not right on anything, I want to see you people leave comments and complain to him. Let him know that his weather needs fixing because I'm not sure where he gets his weather stuff. Ow! I got clawed from a cat. A little turd. Come here. All right. Well, anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think of his weather report. <sighs> what up next? Um... Celebrity deaths. What do I have for celebrity deaths? You know, <laughs> slacking in this department even more. Well, actually, no, take it back. Chewie, he, he passed away. If, you know, all you Star Wars fans, you know, Chewbacca, he died. So that's the celebrity. Kind of feel bad for him. You know, it's kind of sad that everybody you know is like passing away and getting old. And ah, eh, quit clawing at me.
Look, here's a kitty. Here's a little corporate. This guy right here. Sitting there clawing at me. I go away, you little turd. See, that, that that's Dipper. He's a noxious little turd. I don't know where his sister's at somewhere around here. I need to sit there and just do a video of them running around. You guys probably enjoy that. You know, it's pretty awkward. I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm talking to a camera and I don't have that connection with you guys. Do I? I don't know. Hey, how many of you guys actually sat there and watched? <clears throat> Sorry about that. How many of you guys actually sat back and watched me live? What did you guys think of that? Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Leave a comment. Put it right down below. <laughs> yeah. I just look so odd pointing down below. But anyway, seriously. Do you like live shows? Was it good? I mean, I had, what, 15, I think, at the most watching me at one time, which was good, I guess. I don't know. But I need to know. I need some feedback, people. Tell me these things. What? do you like what do you not like oh and just so you know I have a video coming up which I'm gonna be doing and I even got a celebrity to help me yeah I got connections well not really but still I did get somebody famous so that's a bonus and if you're a youtuber out there and you want to sit there and be a part of my show, let me know. Hook, hook, or I can't speak today. We'll hook up, send me a comment, email me, smoke signals. Let me know. We can do, do a collab. You can hop on the show, interview you. Why not? I'm always looking for more people to sit there and talk to. A couple people I've talked to, eh, kind of. I don't know, it's been hard trying to get them on the show. So let me know. You wanna be on the you wanna be part of the show? Leave a comment. Something. Alright, that's pretty much about all I have. Uh, not can't really think much. Um just really, like I'm tired, I'm beat. It's like seriously, it's been a long month. And I know it's gonna be even more. You know, springtime, summer coming up people swimming, drowning, and all that fun stuff, and I have to go deal with that. I don't like going in the water. I don't. I, I mean, granted, I got other people to do it for me, but still, it's, I just wanna sit back and relax for once. And what do you think of my shirts? Do you guys enjoy that? Anything look cool? I don't know. I'm just rambling here. You can tell I'm tired. All right. Like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my other videos. Let me know what you think. Of, think a thought. Oh man. <laughs> oh, I just need to go. All right. Anyway, hope you enjoyed episode three. Episode four. I'm going to get somebody on here. We're going to do an interview. Something. Something. I'm going to get there. I'm going to. I'm going to spend the next. 20 days trying to set something up. And if you want to be a part of this show, let me know. Till then, catch you later. Cut it. Hi. Javier, get back here. No, go to the camera. Oh. Do, do, do you, do uh, you, uh, oh. Javier.